Shark International supply the Blue Photon work holding solution, which is really for intricate parts. And with the advent of 3D printing, it's just taking it to that next level. Mark, tell me about it, please. Well, um, what we're showing here is 3D printed fixtures yep. uh, with the Blue Photon uh, gripper lenses installed to clamp workpieces, a very intricate or irregular eccentric shapes. Some of these shapes, I'm sure the additive people think, you know, how on earth can we hold that? It won't go into a vise or a chuck because there's no parallel or diameters to, to clamp. But, but Blue Photon can, can uh, with, with the, the adhesive, can, can grip flat faces, curved faces. You can use as many of them as you want. Uh, it's absolutely perfect for in the intricate parts and the 3D printing solution. But I think what we should do first is, if you haven't seen it before, just a very basic, I'll call it a, a basic yeah, fixed yeah. string. But if you well, could just talk us through that one. I can do that, absolutely. This is sort of, if you like, the classic, the re regular type of cl clamping. These three stops here are, give you your Z-axis datum. These three uh, location points here give you your X and Y datum. So if this were the product, if this, for example, was the part that goes on here, it isn't, but if it were, we know with three blobs of adhesive yep. there, we place the workpiece on there, we now know that it's in the right place height-wise, yep. and we know that we've got it X, Y, and Z. With it held then, after a maximum of two minutes of ultraviolet light passing through those, we can then remove the stops, and naturally that gives us the complete access to the complete periphery of the workpiece. So five, you can machine five sides, even six sides sometimes. But yes. this here yes. looks relatively delicate though. That's the actual UV light. The UV light comes through, that's a sapphire glass lens that's in there, comes through from the underside and cures the glue. After the machining, uh, the way we release the part, if we turn the uh, fixture over, you will see in the back there are little hexagons and you will put a socket wrench on those, quarter of a turn and break the bond and, and the part is then released. But that glue, is it are you getting much clamping force essentially? Yeah, it, it, every, every gripper will uh, provide 200 pounds of clamping force, every, every one. So, so you, deep cuts you, really if yeah, necessary. Use as many as, you, uh, as is necessary to resist the, the, the feeds and speeds of the cutting. Um, but we so also, sorry, we, we, I've said right at the beginning, 3D printing has taken this, yes. I th well, I think, to the next level. So yeah, just talk sure. us through what's going on here, please. I can do that. We've got some fixtures here that we've 3D printed. This, this, this part, for example, you know, shaped like a banana, very difficult to hold, uh, to machine. So what we've done is built a 3D printer that will give us the X and Y uh, positions. So that's essentially the same as your hex bolted little locator pins. Is, yes, and, um, and underneath. So we know it always goes into the same position. Again, with our adhesive, our blue photon adhesive on those six grippers, place it in place, push it down, cure, the, cure it with the UV light, and then once it's fixed, this is off the machine. The operator's doing this off the machine. We then can remove it from the, the zero point Yep. system I'll take it off there just to and put it into the machine so effectively what we have then is this is in the machine tool right. so repeatability accuracy machines yep. then onto CM, the CMM data move, the data moves with it yep. and then and then if we after we've machined it we can take the same we haven't let it go yet we can put it on the CMM okay. and, and measure it so I've machined that part how do I get rid of the glue just quickly uh, the glue can be removed by a, a steam cleaner Nice and easy. Now, I think what we really want to do, again, I think the 3D printing of these fixturings has taken it to the next level, but yeah. we need to look at some of these parts because they are, well, this is a relatively that's straightforward one. That's a, a straightforward bearing uh, where we can do inside and outside and face clamping in one hit. What about, the, what about these? I mean, absolutely fantastic. What are, the, what are they? Well, again, we'd go back to uh, turbine blades. Very difficult to hold when you want to machine the two ends. That's what we're doing here. We're holding that in a fixture that we've printed, machine both ends. 3D printed parts now, parts like this where we have four holes to produce and one hole in the opposite direction. Again, all, all we have to do is, is find a surface there that we can apply uh, our grippers to. 
knee joints. The knee joint fits into a 3D fi printed fixture like this. And we're in and we're machining it and things like these. This is a four kilo ball that's held by one gripper down there. Four, just four, four kilos. kilos? Yeah, four kilos glued. No, no, nothing else but the glue. That's amazing. And last but not least, well, what, what's going on here? This is a spine, uh, a human spine, or, or rather a 3D printed human spine. And you can imagine that we've, medically we've got to put an implant into the, to repair this spine because it's, been, it's damaged. Uh, how on earth do you hold that and grind it? Well, I've got the answer to that. It's Blue Photon from Leader Chuck International. Mark, thank you very Indeed. much. Thank you, Colin.